Hey everybody, so uh, we're out here on my deck. It is December 6th and it is incredibly mild out here. And yes, I'm in a t-shirt. Um, it is probably about zero degrees right now and it's unbelievable for this time of the year. Usually it's really, really cold, but anyways, I'm on the deck here. We're gonna do a video of uh, uh, the bones from my deer, so you can see the videos that I had before, they were the harvest of my deer. And uh, the video I haven't put up yet is the butchering of the deer. I'll put that one up yet. But uh, today's video, we're gonna show you what, what and how I'm doing with the bones from uh, the white-tailed deer that I shot. Now this is the, the spiker that I shot and there's the big buck that I shot. You see that video too. But uh, this is what I did with the bones. Now I got this, I got my hot plate out here. See that? Just plug it in. It's just electric. Got this big pot of water and inside there you can't see right now but there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of uh, rib bones in there and what I'm doing with the rib bones is I'm going to boil them uh, degrease them get all the meat and all the grease out of the bones and then I'm going to uh, whiten them with uh, peroxide solution and what we're gonna do with those we're gonna I have a another hobby I do is native crafter which I do a bunch of uh, native crafts like whatever there's all kinds of things, but I do a bunch of antler stuff, make rings and carvings and so forth. But I venture now into uh, using the actual bones to uh, make some crafts, jewelry and, and so forth. But with these deer ribs, I'm going to make uh, a breastplate. And a breastplate was way back, they used to use them in war and they would put them on their chest and they would tie them together in a horizontal fashion to keep uh, arrows from penetrating their bodies when they were fighting. So nowadays, obviously they don't do that anymore, but the idea is for collection and display for people. It's been a pretty unique adventure with Native Crafter and I'll probably uh, do a little bit more, elaborate a little bit more on that as the videos progress. But uh, I wanted to show you what I make from these bones now. I uh, cut up some leg bones, the femur from the deer, and they look like, uh, like this after they're boiled. And that's a femur bone. So I'm gonna cut it up into slices, and then it's going to look like this. Once I cut it up and whiten it, and it turns out to be like that. I'm not sure if I got this properly. There you go. So those are earrings made from deer leg bones. So those are the types of things we're gonna do with, with the bones. So we utilize everything out of the deer. I butcher the meat, and I try to use the hide, we tan the hide. We utilize that, and now we're uh, utilizing the bones. And if there is any antlers on it, we would cut those up, and also make jewelry out of them, like rings and uh, earrings as well. But yeah, I thought I'd kind of fill you in on what we're doing. Throw up another video on the page. It's uh, one man's life, and uh, life's been pretty good. 2020's been a little bit rough on a lot of people but the pandemic and everything COVID but uh, yeah we're out here on the deck and uh, we're enjoying life I'm gonna sit out here for a little bit longer and make sure that these uh, bones get taken care of properly and I'm gonna have a beverage and enjoy the weather uh, if you guys uh, enjoy what you're seeing here and you want to see a little bit more hit the subscribe button notification bell and uh, 
we will get back to you another day. Thanks for uh, tagging along here, following and watching what we're going to do. We're, there's a bunch of stuff coming up yet, so yeah, we will see you on the next video.